Hey up lads and lasses, it's Damfire here, back again with another tier list for you guys. We're going to have a look at the common devices. Uh, I'm going to purple and gold only. Well, purple and gold are both the same. It's a 15% damage difference, I believe, between them. Uh, but we're not going to look at the blues because most, for the most part, you can get equivalent blues as well. There's blue gorse, there's blue um, uh, snaking uh, guns, there's... Stuff like that. There, there is one difference. There is only um, weird lasers in the blue. So you've got the miniature ray gun that goes into the gamma, and that's kind of like a mixture between the decon ray and the XNT uh, and how it works. Uh, that's the one I'd recommend if, you, if you're looking for blue only and lasers anyway. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get to it. Uh, so first up, we have the decon ray. Uh, this is S tier for certain. It's got massive amounts of damage, and the more damage uh, it gets an increase in damage, the lower the target's durability. So the lower its HP, the more damage it's dealing, and it, which is great, because the faster you can get something off the board, the better. Uh, I mean, if you can drop a guy's monster just because it's on low enough damage that when the decon rays were, say, maybe Jim all missile uh, launch hits, and he's got three decon rays and a legion, and it just chunks down that HP super rapid. It's fantastic for stuff like that. Uh, next up, we have the X Ether. Um, I'm between B and A tier on here. I think it's a high B uh, for me personally. Because uh, I don't particularly like its ability, which is blind. So when it hits, has a chance to blind the ship it's hitting. And it's still stack. Blind decrease calibration rate. Uh, which basically means you've got more chance of dodging the shots uh, because the accuracy is lower. Other than that, damage isn't too bad on it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a it's, it's a high B. It's, it's borderline A. Next up, XNT laser. So the XNTs, I think, are very, very good lasers. They're great for uh, if you can't fit all the decons on, uh, you just chuck a couple of XNTs. I've got it, I've dug... Uh, done it on my legion. My uh, my legion has three decons, uh, two XNTs uh, on it, and one T two um, uh, laser as well, just to fill up the gap and keep the the fire rate out as optimal as possible. Uh, but the XNTs have chance to reduce energy. Uh, I prefer this over the blinds of the Etheric. Uh, well, the X Ether. It's the Etheric line. Uh, I prefer it due to the fact that uh, the chance to uh, reduce energy is actually quite nice. And if you have enough of them, you can reduce the energy to a point where, say, you're shooting a Legion, and now it can't fire its dual DMG because it doesn't have enough energy or it can't get its shields back up because it doesn't have enough energy. Great usability for that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I can highly recommend the XNTs. We then go on to the dreaded missiles, which are... For the most part, terrible uh, cluster missiles, D tier, or pretty much all missiles are going to be this tier. Uh, so the way missiles work is they shoot, well, for the most part, they shoot towards the enemy. They can be shot down on the way. So if you have a snaking cannon, for example, it can just take out like almost all your missiles and it'll still hit you as well. It, it doesn't affect the projectile of the, uh, the cannon, it just affects the missiles reducing the damage on them even further and the low damage anyway and that's if they hit as well I, i've seen a lot of times with the tracking on the missiles just seems to shoot the missile off and then like half of them will hit and then the other half will just like go behind the ship or something like that and just completely miss so not particularly great pulse missiles c tier uh this is due to the fact that uh, in c tier they can uh, well, as as the pulse missiles or CP missiles, they shoot in a straight line. They're very rapid. They act a little bit more like a projectile gun in that way. I believe they still can get shot down, but because of the speed of them, it's unlikely. They do tend to just fly off, hit the target, get the damage off. They shoot straight, so they do genuinely hit the uh, enemy pretty regularly. Uh, so they are better than clusters. Um, so yeah, I can recommend them. If you've got a missile boat and you you want to use a missile boat, if it's got EM, uh, EMP reform on it, so you can increase the electromagnetic damage, I'd recommend uh, those missiles. 
Otherwise, we've got the uh, thermal. Uh, this is also D tier. It's got chance of fire on hit, uh, chance to make target on fire even. It's not very good. Chance to make target on fire isn't particularly good. The fire damage itself isn't very noticeable on uh, the higher uh, durability ships. It, it just doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, they also have the same issue as the cruise missiles and the way they fire. Uh, sorry, the cluster missiles. I, I, I can't recommend them. Cruise missiles, I'm going to put C tier, but they are sort of borderline the D tier. Uh, the reason I'll give them these is because instead of the way that uh, the other missiles shoot, where they shoot at the target, so all the missiles are right in front of it, ready to be hit by all the uh, projectiles and stuff that's coming straight towards it. These missiles shoot outwards and then they come back uh, in on themselves. Uh, this allows you, it allows them to dodge some of the projectiles that would normally knock the missiles out. And because of the way that they come in like this, there's a better chance of them hitting the target. So they do tend to get their damage out. It's got a very high damage on it as well, which is quite nice. Um, they are gold only, I believe. I haven't seen any purple um, com for them or anything like that. So that sucks a bit, because if you really want them, they're, they're a pain to get, and then they're not optimal anyway. Uh, not in comparison to, say, lasers or some of the projectile weapons. Um, other than that, yeah, that's about all I can say about the cruise missiles. We're then moving on to projectiles. Bear in mind that a lot of these weapons do have a blue version, so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, you don't have the purple, you don't have the uh, gold... There is most of the time, there is a purple version. There's Blue Gorse, for example. I'd recommend running Blue Gorse over some of the, like, the cannon, which is blue as well, which is some weird machine gun. Anyway, um, Gorse, S tier. Gorse is S tier because it comes with high critical chance. High critical chance allows you to try and get that 100% crit max, uh, crit rate maxed out uh, quite easily as well. Uh, you, sometimes you just need a good enough um, captain on here or and a subsystem, and that'll bring your crit rate right up to that 100%, increasing your damage uh, exponentially. I think it's about a 50% damage increase uh, on crits. So that's quite huge. Obviously, with a subsystem, that's crit rate, crit damage. You're just dishing out a hell of a lot of damage with the gore. So yeah, can highly recommend that. Um... Because of the, the high crit rate anyway, it allows a little bit more vari uh, variation with your other ships. You don't necessarily need to run uh, things like a support cruiser or something with the command CN, which is seven slots. It's a lot of slots to run that. It's a very good uh, tactical. But um, yeah, uh, that's why I'd, uh, I recommend Gorse uh, and I give it S tier. It gives you, you know, a little bit of variety on what you can do with your other ships. You don't have to force a support cruiser out or support carrier. Next up, PT Gun. This is a fantastic support projectile weapon. The damage isn't great, right? I, I get that. The damage is pretty poor on it. Well, it's not poor, but it's not it's not the same level as Gorse or Rail or uh, you know. But it does apply fragile. A fragile stacks and it's uh increased to crit damage. So it'll hit a target, apply uh, Fragile, and that'll increase all of your other ship's crit damage when it, they hit it. This is fantastic paired up with Gorse because you get two PTs, you can keep a large number of uh, stacks of crit, uh, Fragile, increasing your crit damage exponentially yet again. So these two mix very, very well. Uh, so yeah, it, it's A tier. Even though it's a support device, because it increases the crit damage of all of your weapons, it's fantastic in uh, that sense. Next up, we have the rail guns. Now, I've been uh, asking around a little bit on these because I don't personally have them, and I've uh, I've seen some testing done with them, and they are they're like there, they're, they're like right in the middle of that AS tier. Uh, I'm going to put them in S A tier. You can all complain in the comments at me. <laughs> but the the base damage is higher than Gorse. It's got uh, passive uh, penetration, so it can ignore shields. In theory, with high enough crit rate coming off a support cruise or something like this, it'll out-damage Gorse. 
The problem is getting that crit damage can be quite uh, crit rate can be quite difficult, or it's fairly difficult anyway. So I think these are potentially S tier if you're running a support cruiser, and if you're not running a support cruiser, they're at A tier just because they've got good damage and they ignore shields uh, for the most part. If you have something like this on a monster or the tornado, which has projectile penetration, increases a warship feature on top of the high penetration that these have anyway, you can do a lot of damage to an enemy without taking its shield down. So on the likes of an immortal, which is a high shield uh, base, but a low durability. You can ignore the shield a bit and just kill it off uh, while the shields are still up on it, which is quite funny to watch. Um, so yeah, they, these are pretty cool. Uh, I quite like them. I'm going to be trying to get these myself, get a bit more testing done with them, because I do run that support uh, cruiser, and I'll give you a bit more of an update when I get around to that. Uh, but yeah, I think they're, they're potentially S tier. Uh, but I'll leave them A tier for now. Next up, we have the Snaking Gun. It's high damage, but the way that it shoots uh, is B tier then. It, it shoots with this weird strafe. It knocks missiles out. If you see people running missiles or something because they've been buffed and they've become meta, um, yeah, probably run some Snaking Guns and remove half of their damage quite quickly. It'd be hilarious. Uh, they are high damage. They got fairly good base crit. I think it's 15%. So you can get that up quite high. So you can get a load of crit off with them. So they're not bad weapons, but I don't think they compare to railguns or gorse. So they've definitely got to be in B tier uh, at that point. So yeah, there we go. There's your uh, ranking system. Like I said earlier, most of these have a blue variant of themselves. So if you're looking uh, for a blue version, uh because you you know you're further down you haven't got all the purples and golds yeah you, you're new to the game look for blue versions of these they work just as well they're just a cap dps uh and damage on them is lower each tier i think it's about 15 percent between tiers so yeah that's about all i can say the reason there is no um torpedoes on here is because torpedoes suck uh, actually, no, they don't suck. That's the that's lie. They're redundant. There's only one cruiser that can run them. It's the Centurion. And that cruiser has an identity problem. It can't work out if it wants to be a support cruiser, a missile cruiser, or a torp cruiser. It's got subsystems for everything and a warship feature for uh, the command CN. So, yeah, I, it's the only cruiser... Because you're looking to run cruiser to battleship carrier or cruiser battleship double carrier, you're just never going to see torps because they're on destroyers and below. Something gets added that allows us to run destroyers competitively, or you know they they put a cap so you have to run frig destroyer cruiser uh, battleship and you can't run the carrier in PvP for example or a PvP mode or even a PVE mode. You might see more of it then, and I'll update that when or if that happens. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And yeah, like, subscribe, it helps me out, helps the channel out. Uh, the more this channel can grow, the more views this will get. Hopefully, you know, it'll hit some of the top of the YouTube pages, and that'll help anybody else out trying to research uh, Galaxy Reavers too. And, hopefully try and grow the community a bit more uh but yeah other than that wednesdays fridays saturdays i'm over on twitch at 7 p.m gmt come check me out uh wednesdays is a multiplayer session where i'm playing a bit of stellar which is a space grand strategy uh sort of rts sort of game fridays and saturdays i'm running battlefleet gothic armada which has got very similar gameplay to this actually um but it's warhammer which is great uh, so yeah, come check us out. Thank you guys for watching, and catch you guys next time.